Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how a web cache deception attack works, its bypass and chaining methods, and why it's considered one of the most powerful vulnerability you can find in real world applications. As always, remember that ethical hacking requires proper authorization. Make sure you have explicit permission before testing any assets. This video is for educational purposes only. Let's get started. For this proof of concept demonstration, I'll be using a lab site that's vulnerable to a web cache deception attack. Let's begin by clicking on the sign up option and quickly create an account. After logging in with this test account, you'll see a profile dashboard showing user details. Now, let's add some more information, like a phone number and a profile picture and save it. Perfect. Now, let's test a simple WCD attack. For this, I'll just append a slash test.css endpoint. Next, we'll check in incognito mode to see if it's actually cached. As you can see, we can access the complete user profile details without any authentication. This is a straightforward but highly effective WCD attack. These vulnerabilities are often reported on bug bounty platforms and can result in high rewards. Next, let's capture this request in Burp Suite to demonstrate more advanced WCD testing. After sending the request to Repeater, we can see the test user's profile details in the response. Adding slash test.css again shows the same cached response. Now, I'll send this request to Intruder for further testing. The first step is to check which file extensions the cache accepts. For this, I'll use the complete list of extensions that I shared in this Medium article. Now, select the position and paste all the copied extensions. Make sure to disable URL encoding then start the attack. After the scan finishes, filter the results using content length, response received, or status code. Next, verify all the results. You'll notice that all the extensions are getting cached and showing the same profile details. This happens because it's a lab environment. On a real website, you'll typically see only certain extensions that support caching. Now, let's test some advanced bypass methods. Sometimes the path alone doesn't work so you can use cache keys with query parameters to bypass it. Simply copy this, paste it into the payload, and start the attack. You'll see the results. On this lab site, it shows 404, but when it works on a real target, it will return 200 responses. Next, let's test with delimiters, which are very effective for WCD bypass. Copy and paste them into the payload, start the scan, and once it finishes, filter the results for 200 responses you'll see some working delimiters and the user profile details exposed. You can also try other delimiters that typically work with cache query parameters. Repeat the same steps, start the attack, filter for 200 responses, and verify the results. Additionally, you can explore all the other techniques I've shared in my Medium article. They'll definitely help you with bypassing WCD. Burp Suite also provides a web cache deception scanner extension. Just send an endpoint to the extension directly from HTTP history. And if it's vulnerable, the results will appear in the dashboard. You can also test directly from the target tab. For some reasons, this extension is not working, but you can check in flow or logger tab if it's working or not. Now let's move on to demonstrating XSS leading to account takeover using WCD. The first step is to identify an XSS vulnerability on the website. For this test, I placed a simple XSS payload in the profile name and saved it. Once the pop-up appeared, it confirmed the XSS vulnerability. To double check, I opened the site in incognito mode, and the payload executed there as well, confirming WCD works. Next, to simulate an account takeover, let's create a victim account. After that, I replace the test payload with one that attempts to access document.cookie. This successfully displayed the session ID, showing that the XSS can expose sensitive session information. Finally, send this URL to victim, and once victim opened the URL, the victim's session cookie was revealed in pop-up. Now let's use blind XSS to take over a victim's account. 
For this, I'll be using the XSS report site, which is free to try. Just copy the payload, paste it into the username field, and save it. Next, we'll check if it executes. As you can see, we received a callback perfect blind XSS worked. Now, send the WCD link to the victim. Once they open it, our blind XSS payload is triggered. Let's head over to the XSS report dashboard. And we can see the victim's cookie along with the session ID. Simply copy this cookie. paste it into a cookie editor and refresh the page. You'll notice that we now have full access to the victim's account and their details. So, we've successfully performed an account takeover using the WCD attack. Let's also test the upload field using my XSS HTML payload, which includes reflected XSS, open redirect, and blind XSS all in the same file. Once uploaded, you can see the pop-up from the reflected XSS along with the open redirect and blind XSS execution. You can also send this URL to the victim. As soon as they open it, you'll capture their account cookies and gain full access to their account, no WCD attack needed. Just a simple URL delivery. I also tested SSRF with my SVG file and it worked successfully. It fetched files from the external server as intended. By modifying the URL with an SSRF payload, you can even escalate this to LFI or RCE. I hope this video helped you clearly understand all the methods and techniques I use to find WCD bugs. With this knowledge, you should be able to discover this bug more easily and potentially earn a high bounty, since it's P1 due to its impact. Honestly, this is one of the easiest and most powerful vulnerabilities to exploit. If you found this video useful, make sure to like it and share it with your friends and groups, it could help a lot of people. And here's a challenge. If this video hits 1000 likes within 24 hours, my next video will cover dependency confusion attacks. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and follow me on Medium, so you're always updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, take care.